It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we'll see the Colts, rookie running back. He was steady for him on the ground a week ago, reaching the century mark and adding a score. It's the Colts and the Panthers, and it comes your way next on Madden NFL 24. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Carolinas and Bank of America Stadium here in Uptown Charlotte. Today, it's a Week 9 matchup. We're all set to go as it'll be the Indianapolis Colts taking on the Carolina Panthers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Panther ball club as they interplay here. And they've lost three straight here, and it goes without saying, I guess, they could certainly use a win. And how do they get a win? Because they've lost three straight, I think it's paramount that they get a fast, clean start to this game. Meanwhile, for the visiting Colts, they've come in on a nice run of recent four, four wins out of five. And last weekend, they put one out in a very low-scoring affair. It was all about their defense. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in Week 9? Dallas Flowers going to bring this out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. So here come the Colts to take over for the first time. And leading the way is a number four pick in the draft out of Florida. Here's Anthony Richardson. It's a pretty bland game he had last time out. Ended up throwing one interception. Didn't have a touchdown to offset it. But the team found a way to win. He found a way to lean on other parts of the offense that carried them through. Ready. Ready. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The numbers for him from a week ago. 16 carries, 125 yards, and a touchdown. Just an excellent performance from them on the ground last week. And that speaks to an offense that is operating at a high level on all fronts. Of course, that man running the ball, he's just seeing the field so well. But don't forget about his offensive line. They've really asserted their will out there and are confident they can repeat it again this week. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up the third down. You look at this Carolina defense. And they find himself just outside the top 10 in the league against the pass, currently bringing up the number 11 spot. And since this is such a good unit of covering passes downfield, I think that last play is typical of what we might see. A lot of short passes, see if they can generate some run after the catch, but nothing doing on that one. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Colts at 5-3 now on the year. And they come in playing some pretty decent football, 5-3 over their last eight. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And they'll hand off to Hull. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. This running game so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead him to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week, and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. A gain of 11 that time, and a Colts first down. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got the lead guy running it pretty well, too. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. The tackle by Matthew Ioannidis. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. And they'll go to the air now with Richardson. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. And as you're game planning as a staff, you go through all the different ways you can neutralize the other guys' pass rushers. Extra linemen, leave a tight end in, bring the running backs back in to block. Or you can do this, a little simple screen pass, and it works to perfection. Come on, come on. 
And they'll run with Hall. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. Here's Richardson to throw. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. Simple drag route here. Lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Now throwing on third down, but he cannot connect. That's absolutely going to fire this defense up. They made it their mission to deny that completion, and they came through with a nice hit and knocked it incomplete. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Going for it on fourth, Richardson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Again, it's Richardson. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Zach Moss, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Colts will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Looking sharp on that first drive. These guys, of course, coming off back-to-back -back victories. And you see that kind of advancing into this game, don't you? You certainly do. And when you have a team that doesn't get too full of itself, even though they've won two games in a row, you get the end result that we saw there. That nice opening drive because they're sharp, they're focused, and they're locked into everything that they're doing. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. So here are the Panthers set to take over for the first time. And Charles will get a look at the much-heralded rookie Bryce Young, the first overall pick from April's draft. He had the numbers of a game last week that if you win, you talk about him being a gritty guy, managing the game, getting it done. But they lost. So obviously, two interceptions, one touchdown okay, pass, right? that's not going to be good enough. Got to get that changed around. Ready? Now a first down throw for Young. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. You look at this Colt defense. It's quite a unit, number one in the NFL against the okay, pass. Ready? And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top ten in the league Look, against check, the pass, check white. but the bottom half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Imagine if this group ever put pressure on the QB, they'd easily move into the top five. And we'll get a pause here. There appears to be a Panther who was shaken up on that last play. Hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Taken from just outside the 30. It'll be a 44-yard punt, six on the return, and the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good. And 
looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round by and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. A run here with Hole. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Colts in possession as they've got it with a third down coming up. Okay, break. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, here's Richardson. That's caught. It's Josh Downs. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it'll be fourth down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out, and that will force a turnover on downs. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. The first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Young. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. Man, he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now Young. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. Boy, shifts past him. Touchdown, Carolina! Bryce Young, 31 yards. And the Panthers are an extra point away from evening this one up. So an electrifying run there as he calls his own number and takes it all the way. Brings a new dynamic to this offense, doesn't he? And right now I'm picturing the offensive coordinator, the head coach in their minds, drawing up some more running plays for this guy because he brings some excitement to this offense. And just a young rookie, a lot of electricity yet to come in this career. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And we are tied at seven. A drive there of just four plays. And it was Bryce Young who finished things off with a touchdown run. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Now the Colts offense gets ready to head back on the field. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. We'll see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. Richardson now on second down. And that is incomplete. Force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. This pass reeled in by Hole. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging from his free safety spot as he'll stop 
them about a yard short. The screen does get them nine, but it also brings up a fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert the fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And now hold. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. 41 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. Come on, come on. Hey. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. They'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Okay, From ready. a couple of yards beyond midfield, here's second and eight. Up the middle they go. Hole. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. Part of their strong running plays, and then there are plays where you simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent gain and first down. Simply put, you've got to put more of a fight defending the middle. Otherwise, this is going to be a long game. Short completion, just four yards, and that will bring up second down. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. On third down, Cole. And yeah, he's going to have a first down here. They're also in the field goal range down at the 27-yard line. I definitely like the play call. You don't expect it on third and five, third and six, do you? You expect the pass play. Got a little courage there to call the run. And boy, they were successful. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Second down, here's Richardson. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Richardson looking to throw. Throw out right, pulled in by Downs. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. A final shot before the half. Richardson toward the pylon caught. Touchdown, Colts. Zach Moss as time expires in the first half. And the Colts have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. That is a near-perfect end-of-half drive right there. And we've seen that many times from the best in the league. But do you really expect to see it done that well by a rookie? And how about the timing? Finishing it almost near the zeros, as you said, right at the end of the half. Great momentum to carry into the locker room. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. 
So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, all right, Brandon, thank you very much. Hi again, everyone. Let's get you caught up with what's going on around the NFL as we are officially into the second half of the season. We'll begin up in the Still City, Akershire Stadium in Pittsburgh. And as you see, they were winners back on Thursday night. Kenny Pickett, strong in the victory, as his guys up their mark to 6-2 and two on the year. From there, we check on the other Pennsylvania team as we head east to see what's happening with the Eagles. And you can see they trail the visiting Cowboys. C.D. Lamb, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. Finally, let's get down to Houston. Check on the Texans at home at NRG Stadium. And they were losers in that one to the visiting Tampa Bay Bucks. Baker Mayfield, strong in the victory, as his guys looked better than a team that had won just one game coming in. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's gonna be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. Each team making their final preparations for this second half. We're about ready too, as we'll send you back up to Charlotte and rejoin Brandon and Charles at Bank of America Stadium. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. A one-touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, as we get back at it on EA Sports. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. But the Panthers going to take over here to start quarter number three. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure go. their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, They've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now, they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Meanwhile, Young throw to beat there to Thomas. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up the first down. Second and short, that's a run down, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. First and ten, Young. Looking underneath and finding Hubbard. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. Ready? Young to throw it. And he is caught. Gets by him and now a little daylight. Oh, it's still wrong. Touchdown, Carolina. Ian Thomas, his first touchdown of the year. And the Panthers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets a head of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And we are tied at 14. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. 
Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer, because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in time in the game, because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves, they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half, keeping them in the driver's seat. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Richardson looking to throw this. Throw going to be caught left side here by Granson. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. They go play action with Richardson. He's going to float this one deep right side. It's caught inside the 25. A big play there for Andy. 45 yards. When you get into the second half of a tie ball game, you start realizing that every play takes on a bigger significance, and this is pretty significant right here. This is where you start putting the pressure on that secondary, and that's a job well done there. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Here's Richardson to throw. This will be caught just inside the 10. And the Colts are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Toward the pylon, caught. Touchdown. Evan Hall from six yards away. And the Colts have moved out in front. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. Yeah, three touchdown passes. You're right, he looks comfortable. What are they doing, anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. He threw his 10th touchdown on the year last time they had it, and he'll look to keep it going here with a first and 10. Get ready. A first down throw for Young. That's complete to the receiver Thielen. And they're able to get this one right across the 35. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Now a give. It's Hubbard going left. There's a nice move. And getting this just shy of midfield. It's spotted at the 49. 11 yards in a Panther first down. He's going to this a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about with his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's the second and nine. Check's peak. It's Young off play action. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Julian Blackman. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop it. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 17. From the shotgun, it's Young. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have the pick 
Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Again, running right, it's Hubbard. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Young working out of the gun. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 29-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Young looks to throw on first down. Open man once again. It's Thielen. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10. And mark him at the 5. Back-to-back -back receptions for him. And it's another first down. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. They'll run here with Hubbard. And he will take it across for Panthers' touchdown. Chuba Hubbard with his fourth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Panthers are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. This fielded right at the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Indianapolis offense ready to go again. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. But that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Now it's Richardson. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Second and ten. Back to the air with Richardson. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. And they moved him in the passing game to great effect so far. And here they get it to him again on the screen. And it turns into a nice positive play. But this crowd into it now. Third and two. On third down. Four. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get you reset. They've got it first and ten as they search for a go-ahead score. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Short gain, short gain, last two plays. Who do you think is excited about that? Absolutely. This defense are saying go right ahead with those. Well, they'll come up now. This is second and long. Richardson's throw will be caught by McKenzie. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. You drive some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Now Richardson. 
pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Richardson to throw it. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. This crowd turning up the decibel level. It's third and long. Here's Richardson. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Fourth down, 10 yards to go. Going for it on fourth, here's Richardson. He's got his target, that's complete. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here's first down. Richardson. This pass reeled in by Hull. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. 25 seconds remain here, second down. Richardson looking to throw it. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And the Colts are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. He has been terrific today, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely running flawless two-minute drill right here. This has been quarterbacking 101 with a flourish. Now the timeout will be called, so they're in field goal range with three seconds left. So it all rests now on the right foot of the kicker, Matt Gay. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. And this one is right through. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. And you know, in an era of cost-cutting and maximizing your roster, this is a club that does not skimp on special teams, and in these situations, it pays dividends. And that's great vision by the organization. When the difference between winning or losing depends on who you have kicking the ball, would you rather have a street-free agent out there or a solid pro like this? Answer's pretty evident to me. Fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So for the Colts, the win will help them keep pace in the playoff race as they move to 6-3 and three on the year. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to New England to take on the Patriots. Meanwhile, for Carolina, they fall two games under 500 now at 3-5. and five. And they'll try and turn things around next week as they have a date at Soldier Field with the Chicago Bears. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.